Welcome back to another episode in the Tennessee Titans franchise. It's week seven in our second season. Going to be playing the Indianapolis Colts. It's an away game at Lucas Oil Stadium. And uh, this time it's Anthony Richardson's uh, time to take revenge on us. Uh, because uh, we did win the last game. It was rather close. It was one touchdown and two field goals that made the difference in the end. Um, then we had a good game against the Vikings. And now it's an away game against the Colts. We've got two more weeks until the mid-season point. I reckon this is where the trade line is going to be. I'm not really convinced I need to trade, so I'm still a little bit on the fence about that one. Um, there's really not really many players that I would like to get rid of immediately or that I feel like I have to get rid of. Um, when we do take a look here at our roster and we just take a quick look at the lineup, uh, you can see that, I mean... You can see why I'm pleased at the moment, but of course there are positions that could need uh, or that could do with some more optimization right there, right? I mean, of course, our um, our tight end room is just pretty bad and it's mostly down to injuries. Chikazi Mokonko has been injured so, so much uh, over the course of the past uh, few seasons or <laughs> past few seasons, last season and this season. Um, Ertz is okay, of course, we've got Ezekiel, we've got Wiley, so all of that works, that is good. But um, yeah, it still is a bit, little bit of a problem here. Um, <clears throat> Nicholas Petit Frere uh, at the uh, right tackle position, I'm happy with that one. I'm also happy with Graham Barton, who's back, who's out of injury, so that is good. Um, we've got him back. Aaron Brewer is decent, but he's not that stable. Peter Skorowski started the show here, really Happy to have him around. He's growing very nice, very well. If he can stay healthy, of course. And Joe Alt on the left tackle. Pretty happy with him as well. Um, wide receiving core. I'm not unhappy, but I'm not elated either. So we could do with some more stability here as well. Um, running backs, that's fine. Quarterbacks is just the biggest gripe, I reckon. But I think Will Levis will be improving over time. I just want to stick with him. I don't really see the benefit of uh, you know not using him. Um, looking at the depth chart, we might even use a player like uh, Josh Wiley as a fullback. Even Zach Ertz has very good stats as a fullback, uh, but we hardly ever use a fullback. So there we go. So Hassan Haskins probably our best one here to go with. Um, also like what we did to the defense. Um, of course, we still have some positions that could use improvements. Uh, but of course, Arden Key is solid. Harold Landry is solid. Uh, Michael Hoyt is just filling in at the moment. Uh, Daniel Hardy is uh, also just a backfiller at the left outside linebacker position. And uh, now Aziz Alshir injured, Monty Rice injured, which is why we've got Hoyt and uh, Kenneth Murray Jr. I could actually use Campbell. Yeah, let's let's go with Campbell. Why not? Um, Kevin Bayard um, on the free safety, terrible Jess. So as you can see, this is not a team that is in dire need of upgrades. On the other hand, we could be doing a little bit better. I think the, the room that's the best overall at the moment simply uh, has to be our uh, cornerback room. Uh, apart from that, I think we, we could just uh, improve here and there, but there's no real need for a trade right now. Uh, the special teams are set. Uh, we've got the specialists down. Um, I'll, I'm alternating third uh, down running back and uh, the power halfback between the other running backs just to give everybody some playtime. Our practice squad is pretty, pretty well filled. I would say we can always take a look if there's new players that are available. But to be honest, none of these really look like uh, I want to have them on my team. Um, so yeah, with all of that said and done, I don't think that there's anything else to do at the moment. Just keep on moving towards that trade deadline. We might splash out the end. We might just take a look at the players that are on the trade block. I did do that uh, last episode. Um, but yeah, there's just hardly anybody on there that's really interesting. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, go for the cold opponent uh, <laughs> and speak about our struggling opponent. Coach, the Colts are struggling, but sometimes the team can trip up unexpectedly by looking ahead to the next game. Any fear that this is a trap game? I'm going to say no fear because the smug response is just going to come back to bite me. So we're going to go with no fear. Not at all. This is the NFL and everybody is a threat. We stress that week in and week out. The second you overlook an opponent is the second you make headlines for getting upset. Cold Street. Colts are struggling. All players will have minus five break tackle. 
play recognition and tackle for this game, beat the Colts, avoid falling victim to the trap game. So it's basically a scenario where we just have to win. That is pretty, pretty positive, pretty positive. Uh, let's just take a quick look if there's any key injuries to the Colts. We just played them two weeks ago, so no roster uh, analysis here. All right, so taking a look here at the quarterback room, there's no injuries in the running back room. There are no injuries. Fullback is not injured. The wide receivers are not injured. Uh, no, not injured. There's no injuries here is what I meant to say. Uh, lift tackle. This is looking solid. We've got no injuries here. As you can see, there's nobody here that is injured at the moment. Let me just check the center here. All right, tackle. Blake Freeland. Uh, what about left edge? So Quiddy pays back. He was injured last time around. Now he's fit again. <laughs> so that might might be an issue for us. Chico Bennett Jr. Uh, started here. Um, I did give him a do-over uh, because he's got a hidden death trait, which is why I did go in. I did fix him up a little bit. Um, same uh, with some other players. Who did I also uh, fix up? Shaquille kill Leonard. Everybody's fit here. So this is... Uh, this is an issue maybe patrick payton uh middle of back jamaya troy jr this is the one that i did also fix up also give a do-over um i feel like players that have special dev traits or are starters i should give them sort of a do-over uh someone like uh, patrick payton who is a future starter i might do that when he's a starter in the future um but i just don't want to start editing every player out of the draft don't think that's really necessary to be honest um, just focus on the players that we play, that we have on the other side uh, of, of the pitch. Um, Andy McGinkle, Grayson Murphy here, uh, Kenny Moore, Julius Prince, David Long. Uh, Kenny Moore was really good last time. He was really good. He stopped a lot of plays. Julian Blackman, 23 and 32, both of which were really nasty to play against. Andrew McCuba is injured. He's going to be a day one starter, but again, we're going to be taking a look at that in the future. Jordan Fuller, Daniel Scott, kicker is fit, and the punters are fit as well. So we're going to be approaching this the same way as we did last time. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I do hope that the strategy works. We're going to be playing the away uh, as the away team. And that will just uh, mean that we have to be super focused. Um, we have to be uh especially ready um to to just uh, really take over here and uh, counter everything they throw at us um, i'm gonna go with it with a lot of splits here i do want to try i mean players that we have already set as our starters i'm gonna stick with those um but with those where i do also have a good backup player uh or while where i want the backup player to also get something out of this um, i will be going with splits Offensive game plan, uh, we're going to be sticking with run inside. I, we were stopped a lot last time. We could also try and go for the blitz counter, but we do get a debuff on the short pass. I don't want to have that, so we're going to be going with this. Full pads as well. Uh, the QB, again, Will Levis is focused. Um, I'm going to be going with the starters. No, not the starters for running back, but we're going to be doing splits, wide receivers, and tight ends as well. Apart from that, we're just going to try and get the starters fit as quickly as we can iron brewer uh gonna go with starter i just need him to be super quick and super fit and super everything basically green Barton is back as a focus player so uh that has been taken care of as well we're gonna try and get an interception this is a very conservative on one hand side and very optimistic on the other hand side and uh, what is this here 15 first downs well i'm not so sure i'm gonna try and get the no sacks again it's just eight points straight away um could go for this or we could go for 450 plus offensive yards if we get the 225 total then we get five points which is pretty nice um five offensive touchdowns i don't think we'll get that no sacks allowed just means I have to avoid getting sacked, which at the moment is pretty hard to do. So I'm going to try the 450 plus offensive yards. With that said, let's kick off training. So bad news. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons has picked up an injury. Starter, of course. Uh, we're going to figure that out in the game in the depth chart for now. Uh, let's just uh, slap those points onto our players. Joe Alt goes up and is a scheme fit. The number 10 pick overall. Number 10 pick overall at a Notre Dame 290 downs already played. So uh, I do hope he improves more and more. Roger McCreary also going up here. 
cornerback. He can also play as a safety. So we might want to keep that in mind. Hassan Haskins, our fullback. Boom, there we go. Let's add some points to him being a utility player. Catching impact block, all that. Malik Willis also gets an upgrade. That is nice. I will be developing him to be a scrambler. I just feel like if Will Levis style of play doesn't work um, in a game, then I have to switch in with Malik Willis. Is he going to solve problems? <laughs> no, certainly not. But uh, maybe he'll do things differently. Uh, maybe he can go for a run once or twice uh, in, in a while, and then uh, we do have a chance at getting this. Uh, speaking of getting this, let's try and get this. <laughs> Week 7 away game against the Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. Lucas Oil Stadium, a pretty nice arena, especially when compared to the current Tennessee Titans Stadium here. It's a division showdown, of course. And it's good that we gave Jeremiah Troy Jr. a duo over here. Eight tackles last week and is looking very, very nice with all the uh, bling bling that we gave him. The Titans have surprised me so far, to be really, really honest with you. Um, I kind of expected a second kind of mess season. And to be honest, the performances also aren't really stellar. But we're just getting stuff done. And in my opinion, that counts way more than just playing like an absolute god. Um, having crazy points, but in the end, maybe losing a game or giving it away. So I'd rather have it like this even if it's not a lot of points that are uh, gathered by the teams here. Uh, the Colts certainly will want to have some payback. And uh, we lost the first game in the first season. We won the second game in the first season. Now we won the first game in the second season. So let's just make sure that uh, we kind of we kinda make sure that Anthony Richardson doesn't immediately score a touchdown. There we go. Uh, that uh, target is out of the window. We have... <laughs> Very, very quickly um, seen what will happen here. Uh, we're good, just going to be checking the depth chart really quickly. Just want to see what Jeffrey Simmons, um, how the situation is on the edge. So we've got James Houston, the fourth on right edge. We've got Anissa Isaac. Actually, not unhappy with this one. Let's give the, the, the rookie some playtime here. Uh, I'd rather give him some playtime than use a, an older player that won't grow anymore. Uh, but yeah, things are looking good. So, all right, that has been taken care of. Actually, I didn't have to take care of anything, but whatevs. Let's go with uh, Taiji Spears, who's going to be our starting running... Yikes. Adam and Ginkel with a very, very quick breakthrough here. Takes down Spears, and everybody's like, oh, dude, what was up, man? What was that? Why, 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 man, why? So here we go. We're just going to try a play action wide receiver in. Of course, Phillips is a primary receiver, but Wiley also has a very interesting route. And that, of course, is blocked, stopped, slapped away. No connection. Will Levis. And the notable inactives, of course, Derek Henry, Assis Alshiri, Chigazi Mokonkwo. Three starters. And the Colts immediately show that they've got a lot of quality and that they have to be taken seriously here. Look at this setup. What a setup this is, man. There we go. Kyle Phillips. Beautifully done. Could have gone a little bit more towards the outside, but fourth and three. Well done here by our wide receiver. Running inside. And then, of course, uh, going down. I'm going to try a dagger. I'm going to try a dagger. I know that it's early days in the game, but if we can get this done, if we can sort of convert this i feel like uh, we have a very very good chance at getting things done and he drops it of course deflected here by Andy and ginkel broken up and it's a turnover at the 32. denied and that was kenny moore here comes anthony richardson and that is probably one of the more easy ones here let me just take a look here because in the depth chart, we do have another tight end that we could try and go for. I mean, I know I said I only want to use him as a as a mentor. But we, I mean, you know, <laughs> we need him. Our starting tight end is injured. So I feel like we should give him a shot here. Oh, yeesh. Everything's shaken. We've got confusion, horsepower, iced out, and nerves. That is not fantastic. Here we go. Ty J Spears. What a hit! What a beautiful hit that was there. I don't know who that was, but it was a fantastic hit. 
end of the first quarter. And to be honest, our output is horrible in this Monday night primetime game. Second quarter. Let's go. Halfback one. Second and one. I just want to drag back momentum. I just want to get a touchdown. Just want to get back into, into reach here. Not really getting far here. Not really getting towards the outside. That would help us. Because if we could get that done, I think we could try and run away from them. But Quiddy Payback, of course, this is going to add some strength uh, to their uh, to their defense. Yikes! Going around the outside here. All right, pushed outside, but we're at the 46. Clock has stopped. 3 minutes 26. We're down 14. We're down 14. Here we go. Defense didn't really manage to hold them. So let's rally behind this. And I'm running straight at two superstars. That will not work. Don't think that'll work. And Zach Ertz here. Not the quickest, but at least he's solid in the catching. And there we go. At least we get that one done, right? 2 minutes 38. I'm going to try go towards the left-hand side as we pick up another first down. Yikes! Everybody coming towards me. And Trotter really getting rid of his opposing number in the offensive line very quickly. Let's try to get this away here. Again, I'm going to go for Ertz. He's the most experienced player, most stable player, of course. And there we go. Push that out of bounds. All right, I'm going to take that. I will take that, of course. I think that was... Not the worst idea, using him more. Carl Phillips, right-hand side run. Just, I just had to wait until he was going to get outside. Kenny Moore again, very quick. Shoving Phillips outside. Come on, guys. Let's just keep running here. We're going to go right to left again. Let's try this again with Phillips. They have set up very, very similarly, actually. Let's go like this here. And Kablui. Yikes! I mean, I got it away before I was sacked. But DeForest Buckner was in my grill very quickly. All right. Can't wait that long. Can we get Burks here? Do we have a clever play? Well, I could try with the jailbreak slot screen. DeAndre Hopkins... Ah, oh, nope. Third and 11. And we even lose yards. Kenny Moore, the second. Kind of saying, yeah, come down, everybody. You're not going to get past me. Do we try a wire curl? Do we try a Z spot? Do we try a slip screen? I'm going to try a slip screen. Screens require a very solid offensive line. I'm not sure if that really is the case, but maybe we can get Spears to just get away. From everybody else. And that actually is not bad. But it's fourth and four. It's going to be outside here. We're five yards away. We don't really get towards the end zone. So what do we do? Do we take a field goal? Or do we try and bridge those? Four yards is a lot. I'm going to take the field goal. Might seem like a cheap shot here. Or like the easy choice. But to be honest... I'm not really intent on messing this up completely, getting no points. Oh, there we go. It wasn't the perfect, uh, perfect click, but we were very close. If I had a more solid setup, I wouldn't maybe risk that one. Fourth and four. Come on, defense. And defense stops and turns over very quickly. That was super important. At the 31, we are very close. Well done, guys. Really very well done. I am happy about this one. Really, really, really happy. Wow, Traylon Burks, man. Sticky fingers. 7 and 10 for Levis today. Let's try another slip screen. I mean, that did work well, but not in this setup. All right. We're going to try... Which one do I go for? I'm going to try... 
I'm gonna try the verticals. Again, I'm gonna be looking for spears. I feel like him going through this, uh, and then just to the side, just, oh my lord, I think we can't hold on to the ball. But that is, that is something that has been noted um, about Madden 24. It is just, it's just a problem with the ball catching. Personally, I think it's realistic. I'm not really opposed to this. Let's take a timeout here, 12 seconds. <laughs> Almost overlooked the time. Almost missed that one up, guys, but nope. Not this time. Tight end angle. Zach Ertz. We don't have the time to really wait for him to get there, though. Um, Let's see what happens. Stepping out of bounds. Kyle Phillips here. Second and one. That was a good run. And do we take another field goal? We do have six seconds. Nah, I tell you what. I'm, I'd rather try and get something out of this one here. Double stick. Let's try. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We have a clever play. Can we somehow mess him up on defense? Let's go with the flood. Let's go with the flood. I'm going to try the Andre Hopkins back there. Yeah, that's a nope. Third and one. Two seconds. And that, of course, will be a field goal. 25 yards. Cam Dicker. Again, are we going to get iced? I mean, we're iced anyway, so who cares? Let's go like this. Like this. Oh, and it's going to be right. Oh, shoot. Ah, I knew it. I clicked too early. I thought it was going to be quicker. 21 and 3. Wow, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? Well, everybody who watches... Me and my franchise series, quite frankly. But yeah, this is this is more like the team that I know. We probably were a little bit lucky to get all those wins last time's round. TJ Spears here, twisting, turning, weaving his way through a very solid defense. Uh, let's see what we can pull off here. Titans bench. Let's go with this one. I'm gonna try Wiley, gonna try Burks. There we go. Holding onto the ball, stepping out of bounds. Second and two. And Will Levis slowly but surely finding his rhythm here. Play action crossers. But of course, we're gonna go psych and we're gonna go inside. We're gonna go inside. Ty J Spears here fighting for yards. At the 45. But of course, this is not Derrick Henry Prime. Derrick Henry. This is Tai Chi Spears, and he still has a lot to learn. Let's just see how this plays out. Beautifully done. The catch was very good ahead of Moore. I'm going to be honest with you. I really like what Ertz is showing here. I really like that. I really, really like this. Not liking what the Andre Hopkins is showing, though. As Trotter breaks this up, a halfback gut by uh, Spears, of course, slightly towards the left. That's what we're going to be doing here. Oh, yikes! And number freaking 99! Oh, guys. I'm... Oh, this is so painful. We can't even develop our, our, our plays. They're just breaking through. And this time, Anthony Richardson really gets his revenge. Just gonna have to... Just gonna have to say it like it is. He's really, really punishing us today. And uh, it's no joke. It really is no joke. This is... This is a very rough game. In terms of what we're achieving, what we're managing to do. And... Uh, their defense is just really super solid. And maybe now, TJ Spears breaking through. Stepping out of bounds. At this 17, that was a good rush. That was a very good rush. Right there, I like that a lot. Let's set up a mesh spot. Let's get this one here going. I like uh, to try get Burks, get Wiley. Zer Ertz would be good as well. I don't think he'll, he'll be free, though. And that's a flag. Is that a pass interference? 
yeah it is Josh Wiley was really just blocking the run there Chris McAdams come on my man can you run down uh, those <laughs> those X Factor dudes right there I'm not so sure but I'm gonna tell you something uh, we are gonna do we have something clever can I go with a curl here I go this do we try this or do, do I just run it I'm just gonna run it let's let's see what McAdams can do ah oh, get stuck on the shoulder of Trotter 70 yards so we only pick up one yard we're gonna go with a stick means a lot of back and forth and the inside zone of course will be our play here 70 yards to get into the end zone and here we go the path is free Ty J Spears again with a touchdown and now well we're still very far off but at least at least we got on the board with a touchdown right so now defense let's uh, prepare for a quick stop here stop him stop him and we don't stop him 28 10 all right this is this is <laughs> completely out of our grasp now probably gave up that one uh, touchdown in the first quarter a little bit too early it was a little bit too aggressive i wanted to have that win just want to secure it as quickly as possible and this is burks here take it down two minute warning hits us let's go with the verticals again kyle phillips i always want to try and hit him uh right in front of me wow and that is a fumble guys 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 pick it up nobody is freaking picking up why is he clapping dude zach Ertz was clapping that has to be a joke but phillips here with a fumble all right that's the game can we just uh yeah all right thank you <laughs> well it was out of our reach pretty quickly it was an uphill battle away and uh yeah we can't really be satisfied but richardson proves his worth I think I said it all, but it's a touchdown, two touchdowns for Anthony Richardson, one interception, 164 yards, 83%. Will Levis, 109 yards, 68%. And we just have to go with a little bit more attempts to just get the get less yardage done. Um, on the running side, Tai J Spears actually better than Jonathan Taylor, which is good. But uh, yeah, we just hardly ever really got going in any area. Um, I, I mean, I was kind of impressed with Phillips kind of impressed with Zach Ertz to be honest he really was better than I expected Traylon Burks here uh we've got Wiley we've got Ty J Spears DeAndre Hopkins again drop balls only one this time around so that is positive I reckon Amani Hooker is the solo tackle leader total tackle leader Shaquille Leonard two uh tackles for loss for Danico Autry zero sacks so we do get the eight points and one interception by Arden Key well done, Art. DeAndre Hopkins, we have to be better than that. I don't think we overlooked them. We just got outplayed, which is why it stings a little more. Exactly. All we had to do was win the game, basically. It's a trap. Frustration is abound in the locker room after falling victim to an unexpected upset. Yeah, well, we did really plan for that to happen. Um, but yeah, well... I'm not going to fault anybody in particular. I don't think I can, actually. I'm not really completely unhappy. It's more the overall performance wasn't fantastic. Uh, and their defense just was really, really good. Next game is, is, is a home game against the Packers. So we might get something out of that again. Then the Patriots at home. So we might lock down those seven season wins by week nine. That would be fantastic. Because then it's going to be the Texans away. And they were brutal at home already. So, yeah. Let's not dive into that, shall we? So, uh, guys, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's game, even if it was a little bit of a slugfest right there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you did like it, do drop me a like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. Always interested in that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for being here, and see you next time.